You can't spell slaughter without laughter. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 enemies that are the most fun to kill. <laughs> Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're focusing on those enemies that, while not particularly difficult or challenging, are always the most enjoyable or satisfying kills you'll get through their respective games. We're also focusing on only single-player encounters. Online multiplayer is great, it's just not on this list. Number 10, Ants, Earth Defense Force Series. They're not the most inspiring enemies, but you'll be seeing a lot of these guys, so get used to it. They scream when you shoot them, they explode into hilariously cheesy green blood, and they always drop some decent pickups to help you defend the Earth. At the lower difficulty levels, you'll always feel like a badass mowing these guys down one after another, but at the higher ones, they won't die so quickly, which just adds another level of enjoyment as you watch your high-powered weapons rocket them through the air. Number 9, Soldiers, Dynasty Warrior Series. <laughs> Putting thousands upon thousands of grunts in your game can get tiring to plow through if not done carefully, but thankfully Koei Tecmo's Omega Force are masters in this regard. Serving as nothing more than to make you feel like an absolute god amongst men, the soldiers in this series do their best to defend forts and impede your progress, but really they're just minor inconveniences. They'll barely survive even a hit or two from your legendary hero. And when you use your special attack, you'll strike a whole group of them at once, juggling them before finishing them off in displays that feel as awesome to pull off as they are to look at. Zoom over here. Don't Number 8. Necromorphs, Dead Space Series. A little more terrifying and dangerous than other entries on our list, EA's space mutant zombie things nevertheless are every bit as worthy of finding themselves on this list. The most common way to deal with these guys requires patience and good aim, as you dismember them one limb at a time. But don't let that limit your creativity. You can also explode them, rip them apart with frickin' saw blades, or even curb stomp them into the ground. Every encounter starts off as a bit of an adrenaline rush, but as you progress through the series, you'll feel less scared and more satisfied with each kill. Number 7, Stormtroopers, Star Wars The Force Unleashed series. Demonstrating that their incompetence goes far further than just film, the assault forces of the Galactic Empire make even young Padawans feel like the strongest Jedi in the universe. Who'd use your lightsaber and kill them the old-fashioned way? But we find that it's much more satisfying to put your Force powers to good use and fling them across the map or just crush them. They show up constantly, but killing them in new and creative ways keeps every encounter feeling fresh. And when a particularly tricky boss has you down, it doesn't take a lot more than electrocuting some of these hapless saps to really kickstart your confidence again. <laughs> Number 6, Nazis. Wolfenstein, the new series. Alright, let's be honest, killing Nazis is fun in basically every game, but each and every one of BJ's encounters with these jackbooted thugs are so intense and visceral that whenever you're not shooting one, you'll kinda wish you were. Whether you're pumping bullet after bullet into a large group of them with two assault rifles, or taking down mechanized bosses like Death's Head with your laser craft work and hand grenades, you'll basically be on a power trip throughout the entire game. After all, they are some of the most evil people in alternate history, so you're allowed to have a little bit of fun getting revenge. Number 5, Everything, Doom 2016. Yep, literally everything in id Software's 2016 reimagining of the classic shooter is fun to tear your way through. It's not particularly tactical or strategic combat, and the guns maybe don't handle in a realistic way, but pff, you won't care when you're running and gunning with a shotgun, feeling the power of each slug punching through the demons from hell. The only problem is that it's hard to go back to conventional weapons after ripping heads off and crushing skulls with your fists. But unfortunately, not every kill can be a glory kill. Number 
4 Grunts Halo. Sure, they can be annoying on certain stages when they are accompanied by endless elites, but they are a great comedic distraction from the intense firefights that characterize the series. It's hard not to have a smile on your face when you run across a bunch of them and they die incredibly quickly, dive out of the way of your grenades, scatter when scared, or just say some funny shit when they're running away. We'd probably feel bad for the little guys if they weren't trying to wipe out the human race. But hey, since they are, we're just gonna enjoy it. Da -dee -do -do. La -da -da -da. Number 3. Angels Bayonetta Series We never really knew that we wanted to kill the Servants of Heaven until we were given a chance, and now we're kinda hooked. With so many enemy designs and attack patterns, each variety of the celestial enemy feels unique, but satisfying to kill all the same. You can shoot them, you can kick them, you can kill them with your own weapons, or just toss them into a torture device and watch them explode into piles of steamy blood, which is usually our preferred method actually. Is it ludicrously violent? Sure. Is it some of the most fun we've ever had in a video game? Absolutely. And that's what counts. Number 2. Skeletons Diablo Series Too many empty graves. Straight out of a low-budget horror movie, these guys are a sight for sore eyes when compared to some of the more dangerous foes lurking throughout the series. Whether you prefer smacking them with a hammer or nuking them with fireballs, the fact that they always travel in large groups means that they're a prime target for grinding or just taking out your frustrations in the middle of a dungeon crawl. The fact that they make that great classic bone-crumbling sound effect when they die definitely doesn't hurt the experience either. In fact, it kind of makes it. Rest well, Leoric. Number 1. Uruks Middle Earth Series Smarter and stronger than regular enemies, these guys will taunt you and require just a little bit more thought to take down, but that means that most battles in this series have more character to them and keep the stakes high. When you do manage to best them, you'll be rewarded with a great, violent, bloody execution that stays varied and constantly entertaining. Fail to kill one though, and they'll manage to escape coming back to be your rival, which gives you more added incentive to kick their ass all over again. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.